All right, so the way that the box method basically works, <coughs> if you guys remember, you know, in Algebra 1, Algebra 2, you talked about just using applying the distributive property, right? Whenever you have a term um, or an expression outside of another expression or, or expression, you have to multiply every single term by every single term, correct? That was the distributive property. However, we're going to start getting into some multiplication that's going to be pretty difficult to remember where everything is at, Jamie. So what I like to do is look at the product of or look at the area of a rectangle. And if you, if you guys, if I was going to ask you, you know, what is the area of this rectangle, well then obviously to find the area of a rectangle, you'd multiply your length times your width, right? 3 times 8, you know, you could say 24. Well, basically, ladies and gentlemen, when you, when you are multiplying to find the area, um, the area represents like the, the product, the answer of a multiplication problem. So basically, all I'm simply doing is multiplying this times this. The answer can be thought of as the area. So what I like to do is, re is I like to write one term on one side of the box and the other term on the other side of the box. Now, to how, how to help you multiply this, for every term, I'm going to create a different section of the box. I'm not changing the problem. Would you guys agree that these three boxes make up the area of the big box? Correct. Yes? OK. But now it's much easier for me to find the area of each of these smaller boxes. Now all I have to do is multiply the length times width of this box. 3x times 7x to the fourth is 21x to the fifth. Yes? Oh, it's 3x squared. So therefore, that's to the sixth. Good job, Right? Does everybody agree with me on that? I have to write that down too. OK. Now, now let's find the area of this box. This box has a length of negative 2x to the fifth and negative 3x squared. So my final answer would be positive 6x to the seventh. And then over here, this length is 8. And the height here is negative 3x squared. So I have a negative 24x squared. So now I have found the area of each of these boxes. So if I want to rewrite the area of the whole box, I want to write it, but I want to make sure I also write it in descending order, meaning with the largest exponent first. So I'd have 6x to the 7th minus 21x to the 6th minus 24x squared. Make sure when you do your multiplication that you rewrite it in descending order. 